Ocean City, six miles. So wait. We wouldn't make... Oh, the gas station's right here. <laughs> this gas pump is full of water instead of gas. It's six meat per gallon. Seems like yesterday this gas only cost six and fifteen sixty four. It's up it's up two. There's no hose on it. The station has run out of service. See the filling station. Man, this place is creepy. It it was established nineteen nineteen, so maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe we're a little bit past the twenties. Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. It's optional. Uh, I'm, I'm, let's go in this little room. How come you can't just use it regular? Because it's a left-handed umbrella. He said so. There's one object left on the snack shelf. It means it's for left-handed people? Oh, we flipped. Whoa, whoa. We did a cool trick. Well, we did drop it. You got an item, cheese loaf. Ew, nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. But we got the cheese loaf. It's weird that the cash register is pointed towards the front of the store. We're gonna loot it. We got seven meat. I think I committed a crime. There's an old baseball bat leaning against the wall here. We got baseball bat. Empty oil cans. No, there's no such thing in real life as a left-handed umbrella. The sign says employees only. Are you an employee? Yes. Really? You never mentioned working at a gas station. So this is- I'm doing a heist, okay? I'm pretending I'm a- um, I'm heisting the game right now. Yeah, I'm really. Okay, if you say so. If a broken radio can still be considered nice, this is a pretty nice radio. A desk presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. We're gonna alert. We're gonna loot it. Or the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. The fifth one is locked. Find the key. The shelf smells like axle grease and old paint. The shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for any of them, though. The shelf is full of old personnel files. Am I in here? I'll be darned. There's, here's your file. I do work here. <laughs> this is a personnel file from the abandoned gas station you work at. I work here. I tried to do a heist, but it turns out I work here. Each object that you exa examine on the shelf is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. No, I do think me pulling money from the cash register at the location I work at is actually probably worse of a crime. The controller for that car lift thing. Some kind of weird machine. I don't have enough mysticality for that. Stand clear of the lift before operating, Steve. Fucking Steve. A big tool chest, but all the good tools have already been stolen. Fuse box. As advertised, this is a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. There must be one around here somewhere. What if I try pressing it? Okay, we need to find a fuse pump. Or, uh, uh, we need to find a fuse for the fuse box to get the car down. Does the radio have a fuse? Spark plugs. Let's see if we can find a fuse out here. There's a person. Optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want. Good to know it's not compulsive. A miserable looking hitchhiker is standing out in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Maybe she has a, uh, a, a spark plug or a fuse. Her head turns very slowly to face you and her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. Also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although, I admit, the circumstances aren't great. It's like Skyrim. 
How about this rain? Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me out to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay then. What's in Albany? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> not much of a talker, this one. How about this rain? Oh, it's raining. Yeah, sure is. What a night to be stuck out on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. I'm getting that feeling too. See any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What do you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one, The Cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. She really just doesn't want to talk to us. Really terrific. Any, any good books? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Yeah, it, she might be a ghost. H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one, The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name, but it was terrible. His early works are his best, like The Time Machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. So yeah, I was right. I gave I gave a accurate description of the time by saying Flappers and Great Gatsby. So um um <laughs> let's just let's just do this for a little bit. This is the this is an accurate description of how me conversing in real life goes. The field is extremely corny. It is a cornfield. Oh no, a turtle. Enjoy blue cola, the honorable choice. An old billboard from before the war. The turtle is stuck in its back. Why aren't you helping it? I am. I am helping it. Look at him go. Oh, I didn't mean to go inside. Hey, uh, I don't want to be unfriendly, but this is a private residence that you just barged into. Oh, geez, sorry. Everything's so desolate outside. I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right. So might as well get in out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name is we Wesley Alphonse. Howdy, Wesley. I'm Elias. El Elias Chekhov. Would you say Elias or Elias? Elias sounds right. Make yourself at home. <laughs> I, I found his gun. I have a feeling I have I have a feeling that maybe this gun is gonna be fired at some point. He's got boxes of bears, gears, and tears. There's a rifle hanging on the fireplace. We're gonna ask him about it. It's being introduced right now in Act One, so I have a feeling I have a feeling by Act Three <laughs> I think I know where this gun is gonna go. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep, how come? Well, it's a varmint rifle, and where I'm going, there ain't any varmints. There's vermin, to be sure, and critters and such as like that. But the almanac don't list any examples of varmint qua varmint, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. No need to fret over it right now, in any case. That gun is for later. Later? Eh, uh, yep, much later. Uh, I'd say right, right about Act 3. There's a weird device on top of this box. What's this funny looking thing? That's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh fun. Used to be. Don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? Haunted. Well, yeah, well not exactly haunted. Bunch of spiders got in there and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I see. <laughs> if you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call trying very hard not to think about spiders. It's a haunted duck call. 
You're pretty sure this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story of how it got that way. Reduces an enemy's muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one when you honk it at them. What spiders? Good job. And we've forgotten about the spiders. The gun... Is a, it's, it's like a, it's a Chekhov's gun reference, because his name is Chekhov. It, he's, his name is... So it's like Chekhov's gun. A kitchen's ink brand sink. A collection of stains makes its home, home on the range. Classic, class rings. What do you mean his shares? <laughs> Why am I gonna take his shares? Like in the company? What's in here? Stocks? Scissors. So like shears? Let's ask him about his class rings. Is this box really full of class rings? Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? Heh, nah, of course not. I just collect them, is all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're all in different interesting ways. Or different in interesting ways, and they're shiny. That there's collecting trifecta. Okay. What What's in the tears box? W wait, are these boxes of tears or tears? Don't be ridiculous, you can't put neither one of them in boxes. That don't make any kind of sense. <laughs> yep, you're right. We need to not think about it too much. What's with these boxes of gears? My daughter Simone left these, or left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. That makes sense. I didn't mean to leave. What's in the box of bears? Are these really a box full of bears? Nah, the boxes are all canned pears. I had a little fun writing the labels is all. You want a can? I got one that didn't fit. Bibson's Extra Sweet bear, Pears. The can of pears and a sticky syrup are sickly sweet. They should be really... They should, <laughs> I can't read. It's a can of pears and a syrup the label describes as sickly sweet. They should really hire a new copywriter. Increases your mysticality by one until you eat something else. Should we explore his house? Oh, and out back. Someone's firing a gun. There's nothing on the clothesline except a pair of socks and an old gun. You take the gun and leave the sock. They don't look safe. You got an item. Rusty pistol. Deals your moxie plus one physical damage. Should I equip this stuff? Wait, but I have... What? What is the guarded... My guarded trait made my muscle go up, right? No, physical armor. So right now we can still use the gun. We'll use the gun. Gideon the Canary. When you were four years old, Gideon flew in your bedroom window and refused to leave. He's been with you as a familiar ever since. So I've just got a bird. It's kind of wild that they didn't tell me that. Whoa, the scarecrow is absolutely firing a gun. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this scarecrow. Motherfucker. Oh no, is that Gideon? He's not gonna survive. He's a shoot crow. Gideon the canary wakes up. <laughs> Gideon the canary is about to get blasted. Why is that my health is flashing? Should I just... Let, let, let's just shoot it. He's doing a lot more damage to me than I'm doing to him. We should surrender. That thing really shot the crow out of you. Yeah, oof. That is a fight that we don't want to fuck with. Not at the moment, at least.